Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out Action Man Battlefield Casualties. This is actually recommended by one of my patrons on Patreon, David, and it's narrated by Matt Barry, the guy who plays Douglas on IT Crowd and so many other things. So that's really, really cool. So I'm de definitely looking forward to checking this out. It's only three minutes long, so this is going to jump into it, folks. We'll talk about it more in the end. So to get your whole... kick, kick, kick. Action Man Battlefield Casualties. For PTSD Action Man, danger lurks at every turn. Who's that? He never feels <laughs> safe, not Who's even that? in his own home. Ah! Oh, but ah! Do what you can to block out the memories. Look, look, look. With no support from HQ, it's up to you to find a way. Looks like we're on our own. Oh my god. <laughs> PTSD Action Man now comes with Thousand Yard Stare Action. With time running out, only you can stop the fight. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. They are out of control. This is dark as shit. <laughs> here comes Paralyzed Action Man. Shit. Legs really don't work. His spine shattered by an enemy IED. Action Man is crippled by constant pain. Ah! With his bounds <laughs> out of action, only a colostomy bag can oh, save him from disaster. Reloading! God damn. But despite his injuries, there can be no rest. Back to work for me! <laughs> Back to work? Man, those two kids are great, man. The These kids are great. <laughs> Action, man. This is crazy. It's Make fucked up, for real. With new dead Action Man. Blown to bits by bombs. It's up God to you to pick up the pieces. We lost him. Identify the body with dog tags. Bradley Smith, 19 years old. Reward him for valiant effort. You've been promoted. Can you dig the grave in time? Let's do it! Bury your dead action man with full military honors. <laughs> Present arms, fire! Oh, I think those are the, the toy from the first video. The one's doing the coke. Well, you can hug yourself. Separately. Action man. And we'll give you a free what? Jesus Christ, action man. Action man, battlefield casualties. Each sold separately. And these did a really good job, man. This was funny. The kids made it fantastic. Those kids were hilarious, man. And it really... <laughs> it made really dark shit funny, dude. They did a really good job shedding light on the dark side of war using, like, you know, dark humor. I think most people know that, like, war is rough, but can you truly know if you were never in it? You know what I mean? You can only empathize with people. Every time I think about war, one of the things that always pops in my head was, I, this was just recently, it was a video where two, I can't remember what it was, what channel it was on, but it was like two veterans sent down, a really old veteran from World War II, and then like a, a young veteran. I think he served in the Iraq war and stuff, and they're talking about the war and stuff. And the video was good. Like, I'm um, talking about the differences in war, but one of the best parts was the comment section. In a lot of videos, I think a lot of people do this, like, you go to the comment section. There was a comment down there that it, got, it, it received a lot of likes, and it sticks with me now after I read it, just like it stuck with the guy when his grandfather told him. The guy said, said his granddad used to always stare off whenever somebody brought up the war, he didn't like to talk about it, he'll say a few words. He asked his granddad, what can we do for veterans? What more can we do as citizens or whatever, or as a country for our veterans? And his granddad said, stop making more of us. That stuck with me, just like he said it stuck with him. And it's just such a simple like statement, but yeah, like let's, let's stop making veterans. And this covered like, a lot of stuff, man. The people who survived the war, and they come back, and it's like, oh, they survived, they should be happy with their survival, but they come back with, you know, post-traumatic stress, and, or they, they turn to, like, drugs and stuff like that to help get through it. Some of them end up homeless because they can't hold a job, or their disability and stuff isn't enough to cover their expenses. The guy turned into suicide. The whole thing about, like, what is it, HQ um, is an ass or something like that, so we have to figure it out ourselves, and he ends up, like, sniffing coke, and they committed suicide. This is really dark. But really, they did a really good job making it funny. The kids are really funny. The kids were like the highlight of this to me. The kids did such a great job. But yeah, man, this is a good video. Using dark humor to like, you know, shed light on like the dark side of war in like a G.I. Joe commercial style. Really good. All right, guys, and that is it. That is all for this, man. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.